Brother Mobile Deploy app cannot be used on Brother Inkjet, laser printers or scanners. To see which products this video applies to, visit the Google Play or Apple Store and look in the Compatible Machines section to see if your printer is listed. This video forms part of a series of videos on this subject. In this video we're going to focus on creating a BLF file and then storing the BLF file into a Dropbox or HTTPS server. Links to other videos can be seen in the video description. Requirements In order to successfully complete the steps shown in this video, you need to make sure 1. The Ptouch Editor version 5 software or later is installed 2. You have a Dropbox account or access to a HTTPS server 3. The Brother Mobile Deploy app is installed The Ptouch Editor software can be downloaded free of charge from the Brother Support website. Simply go to support.brother.com. Find your Brother printer. In my case, I'm using an RJ2140. Go to the Download section. Choose the Operating System. And click OK. Scroll down the page and choose the Ptouch Editor option. Accept the end user license agreement and enter a valid serial number for the printer you're using and then click Submit. Create the asset you wish to use in the Ptouch Editor software. Click the File option Click the Transfer Template option and then click Transfer. You should see the template or templates you created in the Configurations option. We need to convert the files into a BLF format. To do that, click the File option and then click Save Transfer File. Enter the appropriate file name and then click Save and make a note of the location the file is saved to. Create a folder in Dropbox. In this example you can see the folder name is brother underscore mobile deploy. To keep things organised I've created a folder for the brother printer I'm configuring. In this example it's RJ2140. If you wish to, you can create subfolders that contain different types of file. I'm going to copy the BLF file I created into the Templates folder. Store the relevant files in each folder. When using Dropbox, you've seen that files can be in subfolders and each file is stored separately. However, if you're using a HTTPS server to push the files to the Brother printer, make sure you zip all the files and folders together into one zip file. Go into the relevant folder, copy the link of the folder, copy the URL link into a text editor. Change the 0 to a 1 and save the file and keep this URL for the next step. Using the same text editor, create a JSON file that looks like this. This is the Dropbox link URL from before. Obviously, if you're using a HTTPS server, then the URL will not begin with Dropbox. Make sure you use curly brackets and that you open and close the brackets. Make sure all the speech marks are included and make sure that this is set to 1. Make sure you put a comma here. Make sure you include the version number information of the JSON file you're creating. In this example, it's the first time I've created the JSON file, therefore I'm using 1 as the version number. That's just an example, it can be any number you want. What you must do is make sure that every time you change the JSON file, you must update the version number, otherwise 
it will not get processed by the Brother Mobile Deploy app. Save the JSON file, making sure you use the JSON extension on the file name. Move the JSON file to the Dropbox folder that you shared before. The Brother Mobile Deploy app will take the BLF file stored on Dropbox or the HTTPS server and then transfer them to the Brother Mobile printers via Wi-Fi, if supported, or Bluetooth, if supported. But to make that happen, we have to send an email to all Brother Mobile printer users. The email will contain a special link. When the users click the link, the Brother Mobile Deploy app is opened and the necessary files are transferred to the Brother printers. There are two ways to build the link that will open the Brother Mobile Deploy app. It's difficult to see the differences here, so let's have a look in more detail. This method is more secure than method 2, as the Brother Mobile Deploy app is called from the URL. This is the bit that launches the Brother Mobile Deploy app. This is the Dropbox URL that we created earlier, or if you're using a HTTPS server, it's the URL of the HTTPS server. Click this link and the Brother Mobile Deploy app will automatically load. The Mobile Deploy app loads. Click Update. This will make the app contact Dropbox or the HTTPS server based on the URL that's in the email link. The mobile printer will update itself based on the JSON file. Please note that after every successful update, if you wish to perform another update, you must change the version information in the JSON file stored in Dropbox. You should also make sure you update the BLF files, otherwise you'll be sending the same BLF files over and over again. The update completes. The process is finished. The mobile printer will now reboot itself and apply the settings. You may find that, your, that the email you receive does not work and therefore you may not be able to use this method. If so, a second method is available. This is a Brother URL which will make your mobile printer load the Brother Mobile Deploy app. This URL would never change. However, please note that this method may not be appropriate for you. You will notice that you're passing the Dropbox URL to a Brother HTTP server. This means that the Dropbox URL could technically be seen by malicious users. This is the Dropbox URL. Thank you.